welcome back. So, Aries, this is going to be a love reading. Uh, Aries, I'm going to pull cards on you, what your uh, hopes, fears, next steps are. And then, Aries, I'm going to pull cards on the person external to you, what their hopes, fears, and next steps are. Okay? This is a love spread. So if you're not interested in love, you have nobody in mind, then catch me next week for the general uh, quickie readings. All right? Um, just keep in mind, though, uh, it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, please do like, share, and subscribe. Also, because it's general, the messages can be interchangeable, okay? So, let's see what we've got going on for you, Aries. This is a, a bi-weekly love spread um, starting week of January 28th. So, Aries. Overall energy. Aries, overall energy and love for the next two weeks. Okay. Well, that was way more than I wanted, but... I'll take them. Aries, you have the Magician, the Eight of Wands, the Emperor, which is you, and the Queen of Swords. So some of you are dealing with an air sign, uh, but it doesn't have to be as a general reading. I'll say all the signs as I see them, though. So Aries, yeah, I feel like a lot of you, um, you know, in your overall energy, you're in a very communicative state this week. Um, I do feel like you, you know, somebody might be trying to communicate to you, likely an air sign or fire sign, but like I said, it doesn't really matter what the sign is. I just feel like there's also a caution here, though, about being honest about what, what's, what's being said, okay? I feel like there might be a little bit of manipulation in the energy as well, so something to take note of. For a lot of you... Um, though, you know, this is something that you've wanted to manifest. So you've wanted this person to be honest or truthful or communicate with you. Um, and I feel like, I, you know, that energy is finally moving forward. So for a lot of you, there's going to be a lot of communication this uh, upcoming next two weeks, uh, back and forth between you and the person external to you, but we shall see. Okay. An external to Aries overall energy. So, Aries, the person external has the Hierophant and the Devil. So, that's an interesting contrast. I feel like Aries, in your energy, it's more of a go with the flow type energy here and on their side uh, there's a lot of rigidity here so I feel like this person um, might be fighting some of their own inner demons uh, these upcoming next two weeks their, their focus might be on trying to um, keep things status quo um, if you're in a partnership in particular I feel like there might be some toxicities within the partnership, actually. But we'll see. We'll get some more cards out on that. Also, there's a sense of, there's a message here about the person external, Aries, wanting, wanting to be freed from some type of obligation or commitment, whether that's with you or something else in their life or someone else in their life or a few of you. So, like I said, we'll get all the cards out and see. Next steps. Aries, how you see the person external to you? Yeah. <clears throat> you have the Three of Cups. The Ace of Swords, 
and the sun. A lot of you are going to be getting communication. Um, that And this makes you happy, like I said. Most of you have been waiting on um, this person to open up to you or to communicate with you. And I definitely see that coming here in the energy. You view them as the Three of Cups, which speaks of coming back together with somebody, um, getting clarity over the situation, seeing things for what they are. Um, I think a lot of you, like I said, are going to be getting some good news in the, within the next two weeks or some information that helps bring you out of maybe a period of time where you were kind of closed off or keeping to yourself because I feel like that energy is totally shifting here in the cards from the last love reading I did. Uh, the last love reading I did, Aries, you were kind of out of your element, um, keeping things to yourself. But I feel like whatever clarity comes in, um, it puts you in a state of optimism. So... Let's see the person external, how they view you. Wow. Wow. They got the Ace of Swords too. Different deck, same card. So interesting, Aries, like I said, they have the Ace of Swords and how they see you, you have the Ace of Swords and how you see them. I think you're both finally seeing each other very clearly, okay? Um, if, if it's not direct communication, I would be shocked. For most of you, it's going to be direct communication with this person um, or some type of conversation you're having with each other that brings about this clarity. Um, for a few of you, it might be something, uh, like communication you receive from an outside source that provides this clarity, but for most of you, I feel like there's a lot of back and forth communication I see here, so. Um, what's interesting is they also see you as the Eight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. So I feel like, Aries, for a lot of you, this is somebody that you have walked away from, um, you know, you might have wanted equal give and take, but there was just confusion surrounding the relationship. Um, somebody might have had more than one option, and I definitely can see that here. Uh, but I'm going to go into that group in a moment. So if you have a third party involved, just hang, just hang on, because I'll break it down in a moment. But for some of you, the other options were just, weren't other people. It was just... There wasn't enough, like I said, clarity around the situation um, in the recent past. So somebody might have begrudgingly like kind of walked away and yeah, and been kind of confused about what the next steps were. But the confusion is clearing these next two weeks. I can see that. So, there he is. Next steps. Woo. You have the Six of Wands. What'd I say? Victory. Queen of Wands. Aries, this is likely your energy, but some of you could be dealing with another fire sign. Six of Swords. If you are not getting this person's attention, you are going to be getting their attention. <laughs> okay? Like I said, I see a lot of clarity. I see some coming together here in the next two weeks. And then in your next step, Aries, you have the Six of Wands, which is all about uh, getting attention, the Queen of Wands, feeling in your element, feeling like an Aries, 
the badass Aries that you are and moving on, moving on from the state of anxiety, um, moving away from the miscommunication, uh, moving away from not having all of the truth. So, let's see, there's an external. So they have um, the High Priestess, Temperance, and Ten of Cups. Some of you might be dealing with the Sagittarius, but I also have Leo, Taurus, Capricorn here. Like I said, Air. Um, so in their next steps... This person is trying to find a balance between, you know, what they want internally and on a subconscious level um, and what they feel obligated to on an external level and trying to find balance uh, there for themselves, okay? I feel like this person has the Ten of Cups in their energy. So like I said, it, you know, that also speaks of reunions. Um, for a lot of you, if you've been separated from this person, I do feel like there is some sort of new communication coming through or something that puts both parties in a positive frame of mind, um, whether that's together or separately. But I feel like the person external's focus is trying to tap into their own spirituality um, tempering um, their behavior, particularly if they've been back and forth, you know, with how they feel about you or in and out of the relationship, trying to be more balanced there, focusing on what they do have um, and, you know, what's going to make them feel fulfilled. For a lot of you, it's you, Aries. But the caution here is this person has the devil in their overall energy, okay? And so I feel like there's still, yes, these are great cards in the next steps. So in the, in the future cards here. But it's kind of shrouded by also them being and feeling obligated to something else in their life. Feeling chained to that. And like I said, there might be some toxicity in the relationship. That they still need to work on. So, interesting. I'm going to clarify it for a second. I want to know what the devil's about. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, clarifying the devil. You had the chariot... Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords. So, I got a couple different meanings. I, I just feel like, yes, this person wants to focus on what brings them fulfillment, but there's still immaturity here. With, I always see the pages as being immature. There might be some imbalances in money and the way they handle money. Also, some immaturity in the way they communicate. Um, but they're trying to move forward. Like I said, there's, there's movement forward on their side. So I think it's something that they're working on. So that's one set of you. Okay. The second set of you. Um, it may be that the obligations are, um, to children, to be very honest with you. And for those of you who have children together, it's, you know, like for some reason the children get, can get, they get in the way of 
the relationship being as balanced as it could be. You may have trouble communicating back and forth with your partner or have disagreements regarding the children, but I see you moving past that, okay? So that's group two. Group three, if you're in a third party, it's all over this reading. <laughs> now, all of you are in a third party, so if you're not, close your ears. This part's not for you. If you are, you know you are. So for those of you in a third party, like I said, Aries, in your overall energy, there was like a manipulative type of energy here. And so if there's a third person involved, that would make sense. I feel like um, the person external, I think they want to, they feel bound. I think it's the person external that has another partner, but it certainly could be you. It could be both of you. It could be a four party, you know. But I, I, they feel bound to either this relationship with you or a relationship with another person, okay? And so I feel like because of that, they've had to walk away in the past. And that's where I saw that there was other options. I think there's another person involved here. Um, but for some reason this week, it's like if you had stopped communicating with this person or somebody walked away, I feel like that they're coming back around and trying to give you attention, Aries, or you, them. But I see it coming back around here, okay, on both sides. And both sides feeling fulfilled about it. So a couple different groups of you there. Um, hopes and fears for Aries. The Fool, which I also see is your card. Yeah, you want a you want a new beginning. Like I said, I see new beginnings all over this spread. You have the Ace of Swords out twice on both sides. The Ten of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Six of Wands, getting attention, moving forward. I like that for you. And then on their side, for hopes and fears, they got the Emperor. Didn't I just say that? I feel like this person wants to come back together with you. Okay, and you might be um, getting some communication about that for those of you that haven't have been separated. But um, for those of you in group two, like I said, there is like an immature, immaturity impacting this relationship. But I see that, you know, both of you are going to fly right past it and um, pull it together by the end of this time period. And if you're in group one or group three, yeah, like I said, you know, they want you, Aries. So, I like it. Um, like I said, you could be dealing with the air sign. I have another Aries here, possibly. Um, some of you are dealing with. Like I said, a uh, fire sign. I have fire and air most predominantly here. Uh, Leo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So let me know how it goes, and I wish you all the very best, Aries. Until next time, namaste.